Hello. In this session, I'd like to demonstrate how to PDF a tax return in your tax software and upload it into Atom. The first step would be to go into your tax software, and I'm going to demonstrate using Drake because that is what we use. You're going to want to go up into your setup. In this case, in Drake, it's under Printing Document Manager, and you're going to want to uncheck the box where it says Allow Drake to Set Up Document Manager Client Folders. This is Drake's what they call DDM so we, we do not want to use Drake's DDM so we're going to shut this off because we're going to direct the PDF tax return to a, a folder on the workstation so this is what you'd want to do if you're using any other tax software too I'm assuming you wouldn't want to use their document storage system so you'd want to shut that off so I have that unchecked next step is we want to create a file folder for each workstation so what we do is we click on the right click on the start icon, click Windows Explorer, then we're going to go to this, the drive you'd like to store the PDF return on, in case I'm going to do it on my M drive, then we put it in a folder we just named data, open that up, and then we have another folder we call scan, snap, scans, and I'm going to say this is going to be workstation 81, so I'm going to call it, we just call it user 81, as you see here, these are all the different workstations we have in our office, so they each have a folder, so I right click, and I select new in a folder and then I'm going to name it user 81 so all my PDF tax returns are going to go into the folder user 81 so that's unique just for this workstation that way you don't have other people going into the same folder that you're in and you get confused on which tax return you want to grab and upload into Atom so from here now I want to go ahead and save this user 81 as my favorite so I'm going to right click and drag it up here to my favorites on the left side. It's going to say, do you want to create a shortcut? I'm going to click yes. So now my user 81 is, is right here, so it's easy to access. And I'll show you why that's important in a minute. I'm going to close this. So now I just created a folder for this specific workstation. Now I'm going to go into my tax return. And I'm going to go to print. And again, we're using Drake. So whatever tax software you use. I have it set in my sets. My preparer set automatically PDFs to return. So when I hit enter, it's going to my Drake PDF printer. I hit print, and this box will pop up. And as you see here, it's, it's trying to go to my M drive, and it wants to go to Drake 2013. And I don't want it to go here. I want it to go into my folder, user 81. So here's my user 81. So I just left click on user 81. Now I have it, as you see, M, data, scan snaps, user 81. There's nothing in here right now. I just hit save. So there's my tax return. Now I'm going to go ahead. The next process is to put it into Atom. So I go into Atom here. Let's let me pull up Atom. So I'm inside this file, Betty Bing here. So I'm in tax prep. I just click on account documents. Now I browse. And again, I'm probably going to go to my desktop. Right here is user 81. I left click on it. There's a the tax return. I double click it label it tax return and if I want to give the client access I do that I save it and then I'm done so now when I browse again it's gonna go right back to my user 81 but if your if your computer ever reboots it's probably gonna lose this connection but it's really easy just to go ahead and click over here user 81 and you're right back into the right um, folder so you want to do the exact same thing with your with your scans you're gonna to want to scan go to the exact same folder that you're putting your PDF tax returns in. So in this case, I'd put it in user 81, and I would just browse, grab my W-2s, and then label them, and then I would save. So that's the process you'd want to do to create PDF tax returns in your tax software and then upload them into Atom. Thank you.